This thing looks awesome. It looks great. It drives great. 160 yeah, a, miles I put on this. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you have a good drive up here. Yeah, and it sounds amazing. When you downshift in this, yeah. it's like no other car. Yeah, it is. It is so, so cool. I'm so excited to, to drive it, and especially now that it's all protected. I'm glad that we're here. I, this place is absolutely amazing. We have a beautiful car behind us right now, but I can see that there's a ton of cars in there. Can yeah. you give me a tour? Awesome. Yeah, no, no problem. So what's the story behind this? Yeah, so this car is super cool. We, um, we just recently brought brokerage services in-house. So our uh, sales manager, Sean, just helped our customer with sourcing this car. But before our customer acquired it, just a couple months ago, it was previously owned by one family from new. Wow. So it was owned by someone's grandfather, got handed down to their son, and then the grandson, and then it was the grandson who just sold it to Clearly uh, they're to our driving customer. it. There's bugs everywhere. I love it. Yeah, it's been getting... It was, it was pretty well used. It doesn't have a ton of miles on it. It only has about like 24,000 miles on wow. it. Wow. But when they did use it, they did pretty long road trips on it. So it's been up to Niagara Falls and it did a trip to, I think, Mercedes meet in Rhode Island. And it's really cool. It came with a ton of documentation. So we have like photos from those trips that the car has done as well. Um, and we also have some crazy documentation like the original invoice for the car, the original check that was used to pay for the car. Wow. Um, it's got some, some really cool history. Um, at least to our knowledge, we, uh, the thoughts are that these are the uh, only ones with these seats, uh, seat inserts that are still original in this style, which is really cool. And then this dash is all original. Um, the steering wheel, the majority of the interior is original. Um, the exterior was resprayed, we believe, in the 70s. So since then, it's gotten a bit of patina on it. Car heaven. And it's air conditioned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so it's fully air conditioned and climate controlled. And so this was our first facility. We opened this about three years ago. Uh -huh. And pretty much after, I don't know, a couple months being open, uh, it was packed with cars. And so since then, we've slowly had people kind of change in and out, but yeah. have always kept it super full and saw that there was a ton of demand for it. So later today, we can go over to the, the new, new location that we're building. Yeah. Um, and so this location stores about 40 cars, and then that new location stores about 200 cars. Wow. So it'll be really cool and, and awesome to see. And we're doing four high car stackers in there as well. So oh, it'll, really? be a, it'll be a pretty, pretty awesome site. That is cool. You have unbelievable cars here. Pontiac, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, that thing's awesome and has had so much work done to it. Wow. And it's, it's really cool. Uh, this is a super notable uh, Huracan. It was the Pebble Beach uh, show car. So it's got a special plaque and then a bunch of ad persona options. Like oh, yeah. these gold stripes are actually painted. Wow. Which is really cool. And then the owner of it drives it quite a bit. I think it's got like 23,000 miles Yeah, I can on. see it's all peppered. Good <laughs> yeah. for him. Yeah, time for a, maybe a PPF refresh. Yeah, and there's a plaque here that says Pebble Beach? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's cool. A touring, I love this color. Yeah, this thing's super cool, especially with the... Uh, Houndstooth. Yeah, with those I love that. Inserts. Oh, wow, look at this. A good old V12 The ultimate Lucio. wagon. So cool. You even have car covers with your name on it, Garage 42? Yeah. That's... Yeah, the car's been super active recently with everyone moving about for the yeah, summer. Yeah, so not summertime. many of them have them, have them on, but during the winter, they, uh, they get them put back on. I remember this one. Yeah, the very muddy... The muddy guy here, yes. It's clean still, this is good. Yeah, this car's ah, really cool. Memories. Crazy. An LFA, uh, one of the cleanest Tahoes we've ever seen. I think it has 16,000 miles on it. And he stores it too, that's nuts. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think he grew up as part of a uh, oh Chevy family. Oh my gosh, that is brand spanking new. Actually smells new. Yeah, this is really cool. Whoa. Yeah, and if you've ever came across my buddy Tedward on YouTube, this is his 911, which he's been driving a bit recently. Who is this? Uh, Tedward on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, he does POV drives where he's a camera on his head. And, oh, nice. Uh, they're really, really cool videos. Great seats. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is so cool. And then the Spider, that's kind of the sister, brother, yeah. of, the, uh, of the 4RS, so the non-metallic sibling. Is this yours? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is too. Look at that interior. Now, was this a special option? No, I got those done afterwards by a company in, in like Southern California, I think is where I ordered them from. Oh, so that was just a kit you ordered. You didn't have to send out yours? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh. and then they're just Velcro in, so you can just, uh, you can just pull them out and replace them. So oh. I still have my factory ones, all fresh, tucked away, silver in a box. I wonder if you can do that on the Taycan. Oh, um, yeah. That, I would definitely want to do that. Those look great. Yeah, that'd be super cool. Yeah, it's cool that they've got a little bit of blue and silver in them to match the paint yeah. and, the, and the wheels and everything. 
uh, a PPV that's supercharged that does some very smoky burnouts, but also gets everyone out of your way on the highway because you think you're a cop. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. So that's not a cop car? It, it was an ex-cop car and then has since been supercharged and modified and <laughs> had a ton of work done to it. You could get away with anything in that car, yeah. especially with the light. Yeah, and this, like many of this customer's cars, are uh, ones that go through AI design for all their models. Oh, there you so go. Your, your friend's down in, uh, in New York. And, uh, yeah. Ford GT, yeah, yeah, Bentley, cool. of course uh, you missed Fiesta the... ST that's currently uh, in because he's out driving his 911. Oh, right there, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Everyone always questions, like, why is there a Fiesta ST? <laughs> it's like, well, his fun car is a 911. So with our new location that we're opening up, we're looking to bring detailing and transportation and some basic maintenance services in-house. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, we're looking for a really experienced detailer who can help do things like manage a team to help do regular washes, but we also want to be able to do things like PPF installs in-house, do paint, uh, paint corrections in-house, um, and then also support customers if they're going to like concourses, things like that too. So really someone who's, who's got a lot of knowledge who can help uh, kind of run that team um, and really make it so we can get the best service to our customers. You know, if a corner round is up lifting on PPF, we can help just fix that because we installed it in the first place yeah. compared to having to bring in a third party or something like that. So it should really allow our customers to get really quick and, and immediate service and not have the usual wait times or kind of concerns. And, and uh, yeah, so nice to have it all in-house just taking care of their cars. All right, all right. well, I'm sure there's somebody going to find uh, find your contact and call you. This, this, this is a sweet place. I would love to work here. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really fun. All right, David, so where are we now? Yeah, so now we're at the new Garage 42 location out here in Acton, Mass. So this is our, what we're dubbing is the Garage 42 West location because it's west of Boston compared to our other location that's north. And so this was a ground up building that we're building that will be uh, open in September to store 200 cars. Unbelievable, I hear streams. We came over a bridge. There's a train here. It's like Fort Knox of cars. Yeah, it is a really unique property. And when we saw it, we realized it was the perfect property for car storage. It is literally surrounded by a moat. It's got train tracks on one side. There's one way in, one way out, super secure. There's even a house on the other side that we might have an employee live in as the gate master to make oh, sure wow. nothing can leave here without, uh, <laughs> without our permission. Um, so it really was the perfect site and uh, made the perfect fit for a second location. Give me the tour. I love the color already. Yeah, yeah, it's um, a really cool style of building. So. This building was built using a system called the Murox system that was developed and built by the company K&M, who's the biggest truss manufacturer in the world. Um, so like these are, these are bar joist trusses. Um, so this building came in already assembled on trucks as full height panels that were 16 feet wide. Wow. And there would be like eight of them on, one, on the back of one truck. And then a crane just comes, picks them up, puts them in place. They already had the steel structure in them, the insulation, the exterior siding was already in them, this interior siding was already in them. Some of the windows were already in the panels as well. So the building structure went up in like three weeks. Really? So when did this crazy. start? Uh, so construction here started around January, February is when the original building that was here got demolished. So there was a warehouse here uh, that was pretty dingy, had interior columns, not well insulated, that got knocked down and then this got put in its place. So same, same footage as, uh, and footprint as the previous building that was here, but now one from scratch with no interior columns and even more headroom for more cars. Yeah, I see a lot of lifts back there. All right, let's keep going. What do you, is this? Is yeah, so this over here bay? is the wet detail bay. This will have a garage door and be sealed off with power washers, no getting the rest of the floor wet or anything. Um, perfect spot for that. And then this detail bay uh, is for doing all the paint corrections, maybe interior vacuuming. Uh, you can actually see there's a couple pieces of plywood covering up flush oh, yeah, and yeah. ground uh, uh, car lifts, maybe somewhat stolen from uh, your shop. I like it. As I mentioned, I've watched all of your shop build out videos to, to gain inspiration. Make sure your floor is okay. That's all <laughs> I have to say. Yeah, we got eight inches of concrete in here everywhere wow. and it was just poured. So. Hopefully it's good. Um, we'll have a staging area here. We can stage four or five customers' cars for oh, after our pickup. When they're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, so they'll be able to come in even when we're not open. They'll have key card access to come in, a special lockbox so we can give them a code to access. And then they'll be able to come in, pick up their car and take it away on the weekends if we're not here. So really they can access their car anytime. They're just gonna give us a heads up so we can stage it here. Uh, we also got a car lift here, and this will be a bit of a maintenance bay with um, tire changing machines. We can change tires on site. Ah. One of those things that every car guy yeah, always yes, used to have yes, in their that's garage. That's a dream of mine. Um, we'll have a big set of tool cabinets that we can do basic maintenance. Uh, this is actually uh, just a storage room, 
Um, and then all the offices are, are above us. This is for all the tires. <laughs> yeah. That's all, this, this is, ah, look at Yeah, this. tire mounting machines and, and where the mess will be hidden. <laughs> this, is, this is right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, so over there, there's a water room and then an elevator pit, and then the elevators will start getting installed pretty soon. And then there'll be a little lobby area, and then upstairs is a customer lounge area. You want to go upstairs and yeah. check that out? Yeah, let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just a few cars. Wow. Cool. Uh, is, there, is this going to be open like this? Yeah, so that'll be, yeah, this will be open like this. That'll be that dry detail bay for doing all those interior cleanings and paint corrections. This is actually for our tenant Walden camper vans, so they, uh, rent camper vans and we'll do their changeovers to their vans over here changing the sheets and and cleaning them out in that area so this will be your customer lounge area so we'll have a tv here be able to play f1 races have people over for that and um, there will be a bar area where customers can come in grab their coffee for their morning drive grab a bottle of water whatever they need and um, before they before they head out um, and then we've got a couple offices over there one of which will be sean's our sales manager and then the other one will be uh, for edwin our operations manager so they'll be there, be able to see inside and outside and, and uh, keep track of what's going on. I like it. Elevator. Yeah, elevator, a couple of bathrooms. Uh, through this room will actually be our simulator room. So we got a full motion simulator that will go in there. That'll be really cool. Wow. That opening over there will all be glass. So you'll be able to peek into it and see if someone's racing. That's cool. This will be another office. Uh, employee break area and then this will actually be a podcast studio so a couple of your friends have podcasts so they'll start uh recording them out of here and i don't know maybe we'll start a podcast too that is cool this will be glass or like a thing that you can see out of yeah yeah this will be a window whoa i feel really high right now yeah yeah so one of the big things with building a building from scratch allowed us to go up so we built this building as tall as we could and and we're allowed to in in this town and then that allowed us to put four high car stackers so there's 47 car staggers going in here, which will let us store about 200 cars. So we got one row there, one row here, and then a third row that's just going in right now. I'm like uncomfortably high right now. Doesn't it, it kind is, of feel like weird? Like looking down, like I'm like- It is quite high, especially just with, you know, yeah. two by fours. <laughs> and then just to see all of that, imagine that full of cars. Yeah, it is crazy. And it seems like such a big room. And now that the stackers are in it, they seem a bit smaller. <laughs> and so it'll be three or four? Uh, it'll be four high, so one on the ground and then three up on platforms. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we're super excited for it. The install of that has, is definitely the longest process. I think it's probably been going on for like four or five weeks now, and it's supposed to take like 11 or 12. Oof. Well, yeah. That's room down below us. Uh, a yeah, lot it's of power. always good looking down when you're really high, so thank <laughs> yeah. you. This, this is probably, the, this is going to be glass right here or something? Yeah. Like all glass or just like open? Yeah, this would be all glass, and then... And then in this Oof, office, that is high. in this office slash conference room, it'll have a glass window, oh, and then this nice. wall will also be glass, so it'll get a view, kind of out both sides. Doesn't get the outside view like Sean and Edwin get, but uh, at least a cool view into the storage area. That's a cool view. What's yeah. that thing back there, like like a window cutout? Uh, those are louvers. So there's like a carbon monoxide detection system. So if the carbon monoxide level gets too high, it'll start. Uh, venting out that carbon monoxide out of some other vents, and I think those louvers open up to allow fresh air. Uh, and so the plan is by end of August, this should be done. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. I love the smile. Uh, that's construction code for. Yeah, we, October. We, we, we got a couple of critical things. One is the start car stacker install. Another one is the transformer because you know car companies never a fun fun thing to deal with. Yeah. But it seems like both of those hurdles are are almost past their risk phase and we should be on track. We'll see if the town holds up permits <laughs> or <laughs> occupancy, um, but we should be good. Yeah, it's got this good mix of like industrial loft space. Um, all these floors get polished and stained, so it'll mm. still be like concrete, exposed kind of concrete finish. Um, yeah, we're actually talking about doing a modification to these so we can lift out a section so we could bring a car in here. If oh, we're like- ever hosting an event. What do you mean? Like have I lift? Uh, like you probably use a forklift oh. to lift a car into here oh. if you're ever hosting like a, an big, event. Big event. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Like a little turntable. <laughs> or maybe just put one in here permanently. 
David, again, this is absolutely amazing. I'm really excited for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks for coming by. It was awesome to show you. And we'll have to have you come back once we're, uh, once we're completely done and once there's some cars in here. Yeah, maybe we do a little bit of detailing, but hopefully you'll find some guys in, in the meantime. Yeah, definitely. And if anybody's interested, uh, just check out our website, garage42.com. You can see all the jobs that we have opening and also inquire about storage if you've got a car that you want us to uh, take care of. Of course. Well, guys, there you have it. If you have any questions, you know where to find me, Larry at AmmoNYC.com. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.